A Horton Heavy Duty Fan Clutch will provide long, reliable service, provided it is properly maintained. Just a few minutes per week will ensure optimal performance and prevent costly repairs. Before beginning any maintenance, make sure that the vehicle's parking brakes are on and that the wheels are blocked. Start the engine and build air pressure to at least 90 PSI. Then, manually engage the fan clutch and visually check that the fan is operating properly and is free from vibration and contact with other engine components. To manually engage the clutch without an override switch, disconnect a wire from the thermal switch on a normally closed electrical control system. Or, in the case of a normally open electrical control system, connect a jumper wire across its contacts. Once this visual inspection is complete, turn off the engine. If the solenoid is equipped with an air filter, each week drain the filter bowl at its bleed valve and check for moisture or contaminants. The presence of some moisture in the bowl is normal. An excess amount might indicate a problem with the vehicle's compressed air system. Look closely at the precipitate. Excessive liquid or solid contaminants here is an indicator that the air system may need servicing. If these contaminants are present, drain the air system and disassemble the air filter by first unscrewing the filter bowl, then the filter element. Clean all of the parts with solvent, dry thoroughly, and reassemble the unit. Every 10,000 miles, after visually inspecting the fan clutch, check for air leaks around the air chamber and between the PFD and the friction material, the system centrifuge, and the air inlet port. Also check for leaks at the solenoid valve and filter assembly, as well as in the air hoses and connections. By moistening your finger and feeling around a suspected area, an air leak will be easily detected. In hard to reach areas, a spray bottle filled with soapy water will allow you to moisten a suspected area. Visually check for bubbles to detect leaks. This method is particularly convenient when checking the air inlet port of the clutch for an air leak. Any air leaks you may find must be corrected immediately. Replace any defective hoses or fittings that are the cause of the leak. If an air leak is found on the clutch itself, install a seal kit as described in the videotape entitled Corrective Maintenance. Every 25,000 miles, perform all the steps included in the 10,000 mile check. Then, visually check the fan clutch for discoloration on the piston friction disc. Any discoloration here indicates that the clutch has been overheating. Overheating is a result of the clutch slipping, and this is almost always due to low air pressure in the clutch, caused by either low air system pressure or an air leak in the system or in the clutch itself. Remember, the clutch must receive at least 90 PSI of air to function properly. Repair any leaks at this time and check your work using the moisture methods demonstrated earlier. Now, check for worn shiv bearings by removing the belts and rotating the shiv by hand. It should turn smoothly and freely in both directions. Check the hub bearings by manually spinning the fan. It too should turn smoothly and freely. If either the hub or shiv bearings are worn, install a fan clutch super kit as demonstrated in the corrective maintenance videotape. Next, measure the thickness of the friction material. A new facing is one quarter inch thick. Replace the facing if the material has worn to less than one sixteenth of an inch. Again, this requires the installation of a super kit, which contains a new friction facing. Check the electrical connections at the thermal switch, the AC pressure switch, and at the solenoid valve. If the wires are loose, tighten them. Replace or repair any worn wires, and make sure that the terminals are well protected from moisture. Finally, Check that the clutch properly engages and disengages. With the engine stopped, the ignition on, and at least 90 pounds of air in the system, 
manually engage and disengage the fan clutch. How you do this depends on the clutch's control system. If the truck has a manual override switch, set it to the on position. This will engage the clutch. Without a manual override switch, on normally open electrical control systems, a jumper wire can be used to short out the thermal switch or the AC pressure switch. On normally closed electrical control systems, open the circuit by disconnecting a wire from either of the sensors or the solenoid valve. No amount of preventive maintenance can guarantee absolute trouble-free service from a Horton fan clutch. Horton heavy-duty fan clutches are designed to permit continued operation in the event of an on-road fan clutch, air source, or electrical control system malfunction. Simply align the two holes in the piston friction disc with the two holes in the shiv. Then, install Horton come home bolts in each hole and tighten them to 25 foot-pounds. Come home bolts are grade 8 5 16 by 1 inch socket head cap screws and will temporarily provide 100% engagement of the clutch until service is available. Proper preventive maintenance is the best insurance for long life and efficient operation of Horton heavy duty fan clutches. Review the questions on preventive maintenance in your heavy duty fan clutch maintenance study guide and review this videotape if necessary.